Welcome back to my channel. It's Chu here from Truth Explore where I teach you guys how to see the world and save a dollar. So I'm here as you can see with my guys. We're out here in none other than El Salvador. And literally the only reason why we came here, because I was here earlier with my wife, but we saw a round trip ticket for $130. So you know what? See the world save a dollar. You're gonna see us in the land of volcanoes and waves. So let's go today, guys. So the entry requirements were super easy. As an American, all we needed to do was pay $12 for essentially a tourist visa. So we walk right through. And now we're here at our rental car, budget car rentals. We got this car for our whole four days for $140. And we got upgraded to a full-size car. So let's get on to the adventures. So we just drove about 50 minutes from the airport. Oh, you know what time it is, Papusa time, let's go! <laughs> so we over here in Surf City, El Tunco, and we had to stop at the local shop. We are getting the pupusas, which is the national dish. You know, we super excited to go eat and try this food, so let's do it. just had them pupusas and let me tell you why it was amazing all four of us got pupusas drinks all that fifteen dollars let's go see the world save a dollar right here come to el salvador and we just got here at surf city el tunco beach and this is called surf city for a reason because these waves are phenomenal um, it is a little bit challenging just to come here and try to swim in it, but if you surf, this is the place to be. Also, there's a lot of people here trying to give out lessons, so I highly recommend it, but just check out these beautiful views. So from El Tunco, we drove down to the village called Tamanique, and we're about to go do a waterfall hike. It was seven dollars per person. We got our guide here, Alejandro. He even included some of these walking sticks. So let's get into this. Hopefully it's beautiful. All right, so we started hiking, and as you can see, it started raining out here. But, Woo! you know, we're going to waterfall, so it don't matter if we get wet or not. So it's all about the journey, and so let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Finally made it here. La Cascada de Tamani. I got the pros with me. Look behind me. This is beautiful. Right here, it's about nipple length. We're basically swimming in this. This is what I'm talking about, guys. Experiences. Why well worth it? Is it cold, Jordan? Hell yeah. <laughs> down a little bit and we're at numero two and as you see right there it's a place you could jump in so you know I'm gonna jump in all right so I just jumped off the first one Alejandro says that's the second one so let's see where that one goes just drove a little bit and we just pulled up to Nawi Beach House which is a beautiful beach house. This was actually where I came on my first time when I came here with Liv. It's $25 per person in order to enter and it comes with a welcome drink. So we're gonna stay here, watch the sunset and enjoy our drinks. So, arriba, arriba, abajo, abajo. 
A centro, a centro. So now we Beach House also has this super dope gym area. So you see my bro Brian over here. He loves lifting weights, so he's over here pushing the weights. Right, so also included in that $25 day pass, you're allowed to ride these horses. So it's a beautiful time right here, right during sunset. I got my brother Brian riding with me as well. So it's beautiful. Just check out this beautiful views here. Actually, we're supposed to be staying in another Airbnb tonight, but because of the rain, um, the place actually flooded. So we, in the last spur of the moment, the kind owner here extended his place to us here. So it's a one bedroom apartment. It's actually like in these storage containers and they're really cool balconies. And we're the only people here. So it's beautiful, it's affordable. So it's gonna be a good night. Good morning, good morning. El Salvador is currently day two here. Early morning, we heard the chickens cock a doodle doo and we were woken up by this beautiful sunrise. So we're about to get the day started. But first, you know, we gotta stop and get some pupusas. So let's go. breakfast we actually walked right down the street to restaurants to eat us we ate here last night as well and we all got you know we're in El Salvador we got to get pupusas this morning fantastic pupusas great flavor a lot of really nice local people here and great affordable prices pupusas here are only 50 cents a pupusa which is phenomenal I actually got the pupusa loca which is everything you can imagine in one mega pupusa and it's only two dollars so you know, out here with the bros, having a good breakfast. All right, and we just pulled up to the world famous Cafe Albania. And this really reminds us of the last bros trip where we went to Guatemala and we went to Altamira and it's a, just an adventure park. Um, they have like a labyrinth, they have a swing, they have photo ops, everything you want for activities is here. It's only $5 per person in order to enter, but that $5 you could also use for credit to do some of the activities, or you could pay $40 per person and get everything included. So it's what you guys choose, but a lot of activities here. Be sure to get here early so you can have the activities and not so long line. So let's go. All right, so we got lucky. We walked down to where the surfboard is, and looks like there's really no line right now. So. I'm about to go head on over. I'm up next. All right, so we just did the zip line. Jordan, how was that zip line on the surfboard? Yo. That zip line was crazy. It was so fast. <laughs> yeah. So we just did the zip line. My boy Brian just did the swing. How was that, Brian? Horrible. I'm alive, I'm alive. <laughs> so, and now next up, we're gonna go do the labyrinth maze. So I hope we don't get lost too bad because we got a lot of things to do the rest of the day. We're following Brian, because Brian says it'll only take us 15 to 20 minutes if we follow him. The people outside said it was gonna take about an hour. It was $3 per person in order to enter. It's free for little kids, but let's go, Brian. I'm following you. What time is it? 101, 101, y'all see that right now. As you see on the camera, somebody got hurt, so I went to to make sure they were okay. But I, everything's How good. How are you gonna make sure? So we so that's five minutes. But now we're about to find the route. Wait, but Brian, but Brian, but Brian, Brian, you can't go through this door. You went through this door. No, no, you went through this door, and that's why that's why we have the fast route. So how do you get here? I didn't. I went through the other way. Oh, you did? The route, but you guys didn't get there. I didn't go through. Okay. okay. Minuto. 
gracias, gracias a mi mamá, gracias a mi papá, gracias a mis amigos, gracias por todo, gracias sabedoreños. Ok. So next up, we're at the food festival at Waiua. This was literally only 15 minutes away from Cafe Albania, and it's supposed to have so many different foods, drinks, local foods, local prices. So super excited to eat here. So my man Brian just got the fresh pineapple loco, piña loco. I see piña that. Loca. Only $3, the whole pineapple with the drink. Come on, man. So on the other side of the market is the Ruta de Flores de Artesanas and this is where you go and you buy all your souvenirs, your gifts and here there are so many vendors it's easy to negotiate and you get fair prices. The thing that I really like about it here is that they're not pushy. They won't call you, they'll haggle with you so I uh, highly recommend coming here waiting to get your gifts here. Alright, so we just pulled up to our next spot, which is Los Choros, Choras de Guayua, which is literally right in the same town that we were just eating at with the food festival. We got here pretty late in the day, so we were unable to do the seven different waterfalls, and we're only going to be able to do three. Um, the seven different waterfalls, they said, is about three to four hours. So I don't know if we were going to be able to do it, come back and do that one, but the one that we're doing today, they said if we're fast, it takes 20 minutes. So um, we're still going to see some waterfalls, we're still going to go in some pools, and you guys are going to come along with rides. So let's go. So we just hiked down here. It honestly took us like 20, 25 minutes to get here. And it's beautiful. We came to this amazing waterfall. My brothers, we made it here. I can't wait to show you guys this beautiful, beautiful waterfall. But for right now, it's time for me to get in here, y'all. our Airbnb this was only $23 a night it's a bedroom there I guess in there I'm right there kitchen bathroom can't get better than this $23 a night we not complaining very strong Wi-Fi too Another beautiful day here in El Salvador. So me and my brothers, we got up early because um, we wanted to do something really adventurous today. So we drove about an hour away from our Airbnb. Some beautiful views of Lake Otepeque, which is one of the largest lakes in Central America. We made it here at the camping grounds right here because we're going to do a volcano hike. Now, this is super adventurous and it's not for the week. So we're gonna go, but first we gotta stop and get some breakfast before the hike. So let's go. So I actually did this hike with my wife two years ago. We had to run because we wanna do the big group tour because it's a lot cheaper and it's a lot more people. So it'll be a lot more fun. So let's head out to the hike now. All right, so I'll just break down the payment so far. We paid a dollar 25 to park. We paid $3 for our guide. And then because we're foreigners, Brian tried to be a local, but it didn't work. And we had to pay $6 per person in order to enter. <laughs> but now we're going down the hike. Not much of a view. Alright, so we're so high up right now that we're literally in the clouds. You can't see anything. I hope that we'll be able to see the blue turquoise water in the volcanic crater. 
So it honestly was not as bad as I thought. We're almost at the top. And the way that I know I'm almost at the top is I hear the ice cream man. When you make it to the top, listen to that bell. Cause we here. Alright, so we just got the la paletas. I got the chicle. And you got the what? Zapote? Zapote. Yeah. And this is why I do what I do with my brothers. We made about an hour and a half hike. It wasn't too bad, but we were in the mountains, in the clouds. And now we made it all the way to the top of the volcan, the Santa Ana. We got our popsicles. And just check out this beautiful views. New experiences with my brothers. Amazing, guys. So up here, it's so beautiful. And it's starting to clear up, honestly. You're so lucky. On that side right there, we have Lago de Cotepeque. And right behind us over here, you have El Volcán de Santa Ana. Check that out. So as you guys can see, there's a lot of tourists, there's a lot of people coming up and down the volcano. So be sure to come with a good group. I'm with my guys. All right, so after that hike, we needed to come and get some good foods, literally right down the street. We got some great food. We got our drinks here. Um, I got the carne de res, which is steak. Uh, we got the chicken. Be sure to get the sopa de res. Fantastic, great food here, and inexpensive as well, about $8 per person in order to eat here. So let's go. All right, and we just drove about an hour and a half and it was well worth it because we pulled up to Santa Teresa hot springs and it's well needed because we need to relax and chill and it's not so hot today actually the sun just came out Ooh, that's so, when you said that yeah so we'll see what this feels like and we'll keep you guys posted it was about ten dollars per person in order to enter and we didn't do all the spa stuff but we'll see if it's worth it to do those things and if we want to pay that extra 15 to do it natural spa and this one right here is supposed to be hot let's get in this it's, it's yeah it is hot it's, it's warm yeah it ain't it's cool it's a nice place to chill relax here All right, so we just went to the little hot springs and over there they also have the spa area. But the spa honestly is only mud and a sauna. And honestly, we weren't that interested in it for the $10. So we're just gonna chill in the hot springs and enjoy it. All right, so this is what it's like during rainy season. <laughs> So for dinner, sunset, there's not a lot of options. So we found this place called Zolo's and it's Mexican food and it's phenomenal. I'm not gonna lie, it's inexpensive. We spent about $4 per person here and we got tacos, we got burritos, we got something like a quesadilla, a lot of great drinks. So I highly recommend coming here and eating the food here as well. Good morning, good morning. Our last day here in El Salvador, we got up bright and early, seven o'clock to hopefully do the Salto de Mali. I don't even know how to say it. I'm not even gonna butcher it. So we got here, we drove about an hour from our Airbnb and we found out that the place is actually closed. So it's closed because the current in the river is too strong. So we didn't want to chance it and we couldn't even drive even if we did want to chance it. But we spoke to one of the workers and he says, you can go through the gate. So we actually kind of snuck through a little bit, maybe made our own way in. Gotta do what I gotta do. We're heading towards the uh, waterfall now. Now this is a hot river, hot spring. It's literally heated from the volcano and it's the first waterfall that I've ever been to that's supposed to have heated water. Um, so let's go. So 
I thought it was a hike down here, but it's really like a one minute walk down and we see the waterfall. It's beautiful, but it's way too powerful right now and hot. The current will definitely pull you down and I do not want to be in boiling water. So we're just going to check this out and view it from this viewpoint. tried to get here and we honestly couldn't find the path but there was a guy who was I guess living in the area and he showed it to us and man it's just beautiful check it out unfortunately because it just rained it's so dangerous and we can't get in but and also the water's a little bit brown because of the runoff but still a beautiful powerful waterfall about an hour to San Salvador and we are here at the picnic steakhouse um, we came here to do the world famous picnic slide this is my second time doing it I paid five dollars in order to get this and I hope it doesn't rain but maybe if it rains it'll be a little more slippery when we get down but let's go Man, and unfortunately, just like that, our time is done. We pulled up to the international airport, and man, El Salvador has been amazing. This was my second time, and I did so much this time. If you guys haven't, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. You guys could be anywhere in the world, but you're here watching with us, and we truly appreciate that. So we'll see you guys on the next one.